It's your boy Odin from host.promo. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you every single thing you need to know about Git config. First things first, the most important thing you need to know is there is a Git config file that applies globally to all repositories on that machine. And then there is a specific configuration file for every specific repo that you have on that machine, okay? So I'm in a test repository called host.promo. And if we list the files, we just have one file. If we do git log, I've just done one commit, okay? Now, if we want to view the configuration file for this repository, we need to type in git config dash dash list, okay? And you can see different configuration options in this repository, such as what editor to use or what name to use or what email and different things like that. And you can also add options, remove options, but I wouldn't remove any of the default options. And to do this in a short way, you can also type in git config dash L. Okay, it does the same exact thing. Now, if we wanna edit the git configuration in a repository, there's a few different ways we can do this. We can do git config dash E and this will pull open our editor and we can just change the email for example and now if we view you can see the new email shows okay another way to do this is to go actually into the dot git folder okay now if we list the files we have a config file and this edits the same exact file that git config space dash e does see you just saw this okay so it does the same thing. And then another helpful way is if we do this, okay? We can do git config and then, you know, the variable we're trying to set. So in this case, it's user.name. And then we can change it to Odin is awesome. Now, if we do git config dash L, you can see it's been changed. So that's pretty cool guys. Now let me show you how to edit the global configuration file. We're gonna use this tilde sign and then the slash which is gonna bring us in the root of our computer, okay? Right now we're in var www.html host.promo. We wanna go in the root so we're gonna use this and then dot git config, okay? Now you can see I only have one thing set in here, okay? Editor equals vim. Maybe let's try to change it to nano and see what happens, okay? Now if we do git config dash e, you can see it opens up nano. So that's pretty cool, okay? And that's pretty much every single thing you need to know about git configuration. If you do have any more questions, leave them down below and I'll help you out. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to support and check out my site, host.promo. It compares all the different hosting companies out there, their features, their prices, and I think you'll find it very helpful. And I hope you found this video helpful and keep learning and improving on Git and have an amazing day. Peace out.